by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal boost. What's good, players of Pimps, Holes, and Simpsons, ladies? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zay, the baddest motherfucker walking, aka the Shogun, and welcome to my dojo. Make sure you double in as them swords so we can slice this video up. And not know that we stalk their following list, especially if we do not talk anymore, because one thing about men, they will always come back, and I will have exclusive intel on exactly who you're talking to, how you're interacting with them, and when and where you met over the past three months. So basically what this woman just said out of her mouth. I know y'all probably didn't y'all heard a lot of But I'm, I'm gonna tell you what the, the, the seagull said. She basically just said, without having to say it, this is how you know how to die cold female language. She said that men actually don't have options, right? So when they run their low quality, desperate, thirsty asses back because they don't have any other options, especially outside of them. She is going to make you pay for it. What do you? What do, what do I mean by she's going to make you pay for it? The fact that she even knows that you're going to come back, number one. So she's already, am she's basically getting all the ammunition. And she, she ready to have a motherfucking, you know, the big ass bazooka, the motherfucking rocket launcher. So when you bring your bitch ass back, you know, she can weaponize and shoot you and have ammo and machine guns just, just, just yapping at your ass as you come back. Because you know what men do, especially when you run back. And then she's like, oh, so I see you with that other bitch that I don't like. Or what's this ugly bitch you was with? Like, go back to her, little baby. You know, men explaining themselves. Which, as a man, you should never fucking explain your goddamn self to no fucking body because you don't need to explain yourself to nobody. You should understand you and you should have an understanding of you. So, you know, men be like, yeah, nah, hey, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You don't know, man. And, and the, the problem with explaining yourself, especially to a woman, is that you put her in a position to think that she can even question you. You put her in a position to think that she now has a, 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 a basically a leash or you now you basically handed her the leash once you explain yourself to a woman as a man you damn near just took your balls you put them in the envelope you wrapped a nice little bowl and you just handed it to the bitch and said please, please do it you know because that's when you argue and, and have to explain yourself to women you put them on the same level as you as a man when she shouldn't be there just like, like I think about it, I don't want to get too deep into it, but think about it like this. If you're a boss of, an, of, of a company, right, you don't explain your fucking self to the employees. Once you start explaining yourself of why you're doing this or why you got to do that, and you letting employees have a say too much. And I'm not saying that women can't have a say, right? But you're letting employees just think that they run the shit or they can question you, right? What happens? They become entitled and then shit, you damn near on the same level as the goddamn employee and a whole bunch of problems is going to happen. I mean, granted, if you want drama in your relationship, you like toxic shit and you and a lot, a lot of guys feel like when a woman is questioning them, they feel as though that the woman actually likes them. No, no, my bad. The woman actually cares. No, the, no, she doesn't give a fuck. It's more of a test to see what type of man you are. It's more of a test to see if she can bitch you and start dragging your ass through the mud and dragging you by the goddamn back of your neck like you a dog. You get what I'm saying? That's what it really is. You know what I'm saying? I don't advocate running back. You should never fucking run back. For what? When you're done with it, you're fucking done. A bitch is in the past is a bitch is in the past. She runs back to you. That's a whole different, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's crazy that you guys are out here, like motherfuckers really out here. Like she said that, you know, men run back. <sighs> yeah, motherfuckers really desperate and really thirsty like that out there. Cause you know it's hard out here for a pimp. When you're trying to get the money for the rent. You know that shit? It's hard out here for a pimp, I'm guessing. Well, I can't even call you niggas pimps. You niggas running back the holes and shit, man. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Females can be predators, fellas. I don't think y'all really understand that. Like, females can, or either, either, even if she wasn't a predator, she can turn into one. She can become one. She can start and turn into a fucking predator. And you can turn her into the predator. You can turn her into the monster. 
if you make mistakes in the game. That's what a lot of guys fail to realize. When you make mistakes in a game, when you lack game, you lack self-awareness, you lack a lot of things and skills and shit like that, you can turn women that, especially women who are actually supposedly good women, you can actually turn them into a fucking monster. Just by how you're, because a woman follows you, she's a reflection of you. So, for an example, if you're a guy and, you know, I'm going to give y'all one. So, I got, I, got, I got a homie, right? And he, he talks to nothing but beautiful ass women. Bad bitches, you know what I'm saying? But one thing that I have noticed about the women that he talks to, even though they be fucking him, they talk to him like he's not shit. They talk to him like he's a piece of fucking shit. And I'm like, yo, how come every bitch that you get, they be hanging up on him, talking to him, fuck you, suck, kiss their ass, all type of shit. But they be beautiful as fuck. And my homie, I real, what I realized about him is that the women that he picked, right, is literally a female version of him. So my homie, he's actually like a very fit guy, strong. He dresses nice. He gets, he's charismatic. You get what I'm saying? But he lacks a lot of, uh, lacks, he lacks a lot of shit. Like he's not a man of his word. You know what I'm saying? He's unreliable. He does certain, he does stupid shit sometimes without thinking. It can be overly emotional. You get what I'm saying? Like he lacks a lot of masculine qualities, but on the outside, he looks masculine. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, take care of himself. But in the women that he has, lacks femininity, usually you know have no like have no good personality to them they don't view themselves as shit they, like you know what i'm saying like so he if, if even if he was with a woman that treated him good he wouldn't be able to be with her because what he sees in himself he wouldn't think that he deserves so he would treat her like shit and then he would be even more attracted he would be only attracted to women that talk shit and talk down to him because that's how he see himself now this doesn't go this this doesn't go and say like if you if you see a girl and then she talking shit to you right she oh you a bitch ass nigga and shit like that and then you know what I'm saying I don't mean that she's a reflection of you in that sense but if you accept that and you stay with a girl who says something like that then that's how you know what you actually view yourself and think of yourself as a man you get what I'm saying but um I forgot why I was even saying that but like I said females can be predators and like I said you're basically saying you you do turn women into predators sometimes because of how you treat yourself because sometimes a woman can be I, i'm sure I'm, I'm sure it's instances where especially with me like women will be masculine and all the other shit towards other niggas and they get with me or somebody like me who ain't going for that and either they 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 don't fuck with me or they change their whole fucking attitude because of the respect that they have for me and you know a female is a reflection of you females don't have no identity you get what i'm saying they don't have an identity. They go with the wind. If if the wind pull them left, they go left. The wind pull them right, they go right. That's why as a man, you have to have boundary standards and shit like that. And you shouldn't be going left or right with the wind. You should just be who you are, no matter what bitch come into your life. Like you shouldn't be changing anything about yourself, anything, anything. You get what I'm saying? But not to harp too much into that. Understand, fellas, running back and all that shit, dude. If you run back to a woman, you cannot keep your dignity. You cannot keep your masculinity. That that's the trade off that you are are willing to take or willing to risk running back every fucking time because a woman understands why you're running back. Just like when a woman runs back to you, a lot of guys don't really realize it that it's not because she loves you, it's not because she missed you, it's just that she went out in these fucking streets and she couldn't find nothing better and she found out that the streets is cold. <laughs> the streets is cold. She's shivering out there. She ain't coming back because she love you or miss you. And just like that, you're not coming back because you love and you miss her neither. You come back because you found out them streets is cold and them bitches is colder. You feel me? So you can't keep it. So now she's like, yo, well, since you left, nigga, especially if I was treating you right, or even if I wasn't treating you right, nigga, you gonna have to give me another ball. You only got two balls, man. Nigga, you gonna have to give me three now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. You cannot keep your dignity. And if you can't keep your dignity, your masculinity, she's gonna eat you the fuck up like a predator. And then she's gonna shit you out. She's gonna bury your ass in the backyard. And then she's gonna go out there and try to collect some more bitch ass nigga souls. You get what I'm saying? Fellas, don't run back. Don't run back. Cause then you you run the risk of you gotta explain yourself. 
You gave her a ball. Then, you know what I'm saying? Now she can do whatever the fuck she want because you ran back like a bitch. You gave her your other ball. And then now, because you like the masculinity that she once liked about you, if, if you if you went into it like that, it's gone. Now, you get what I'm saying? She just running all over your ass. And then it's just only a matter of time before she like, you know what? This nigga's a bitch. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because now you didn't, you didn't, you didn't ele elevate her ego to another. Especially if you left her hurt. Ooh, you left her hurt. And then you went back. Oh my God. That's why your fellas don't be doing people dirty, man. You left her hurt and then you ran your bitch ass back. Oh, she is going to fucking destroy you. She's going to destroy you. Because the only way you have to understand the reason she's, she has to destroy you is because that's the only way she can build her ego back up. A lot of the time, like if you ever destroy a woman, you never go back to her. She never, a woman never recovers from that. She never recovers from that shit. You feel me? Ever. Understand that. And the only way she can recover, right, is if she destroy you the fuck back. So you, you, you make that decision if you fucking want to. You gonna get your ass whacked. But, uh, fellas, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, man, you the real MVP. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance, man. And until next time, it's your boy Zay Two Times, Zay Double Edge, and I'm out deuces. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. I probably die in the vocal booth, spit